<laughs> Boom! What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team, stand up! Try not to get scared! Hey, man. You guys already know how to come at you with this, man. Um, I'm not responsible for your jump scare. I purposely did this reaction late at night, you know what I'm saying, to put you guys in trouble. Because today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have 15 creepy, I don't even know what this is until I just found out today, humanoids, bro. We have 15 creepy humanoids caught on tape. Let's check it out. Chills. Number 15, Ningen. What you are witnessing is rare underwater footage of a Ningen, a gigantic sea creature apparently first spotted by Pacific fishermen sometime in the 90s. The name literally means human, and that's because they tend to have a round head along with four limbs and a skinny torso. The creature is about the size of a submarine, but looks rubbery and boneless. It appears to be mostly carried by ocean currents and has a limited control over its directional course. Since Ningen sightings are so new, not much is known about these creatures aside from it having a preference for arctic waters and a nocturnal sleep schedule. There's rumors about various government officials suppressing information from the public, so there's no telling what new Ningen footage will leak in upcoming years. It really makes you wonder what other humanoid monsters are possibly being hidden from the world's eye. Number 14. I don't even know what a humanoid, humanoid was. Two friends are creeping around a forest in Granada, Spain when they stumble upon something they were never meant to see. Oh! Whoa! The humanoid that thing turned its head, boy, I would have been out of there. Four, four flat reacts, yo. keen ears detect them instantly. It looks up from his meal, ready to attack. You can see that this creature is thin and bony. It looks skinny and sunken in, fast, with a high metabolism. Its reaction time seems way too quick for any ordinary person. Number 13, Whoa. Desert Monster. Desert, Desert workers monster. in Portugal were in for a giant surprise after a huge humanoid decided to wander around the remote job site. The workers were casually filming the desert landscape and having a private conversation when they noticed a hulking creature stomping its way across the prairie in the distance. What the hell is that, bro? What is that, bro? This towering humanoid looks three times the size of a regular person. The length of its forearms alone is probably the size of a grown man's leg, and despite being heavily hunched over, it looks to be well over seven feet tall. It's almost as tall as the tree it disappears behind. The stunned Portuguese workers were filming for a bit, and when the creature doesn't re-emerge, they wisely choose not to pursue when the video ends. They definitely made the right decision by leaving it alone. Why didn't they pursue? Massive arms and long legs, and you'd have Bro. no doubt that I would have just pursued him just to be like hi or something, bro. Just say hi. You know what I'm saying? Then run away. You know what I'm saying? You got the ultimate footage. Damn, bro. How you just not... That's scary ass shit, man. That this monster could have easily defended itself against them. Bro, you well, said it was like 10 people China. there. What the hell is that? What is that? <laughs> They don't. They look harmless, though. The humanoids. Look, is those are the humanoids they're talking about. They look harmless. Rural peasant village not too long ago, though skeptics believe that this man simply suffered from a genetic disease. All we have to rely on for sure is the legend of his birth, as told by his mother. Here's what she says happened to her. One day, a huge and savage humanoid snatched her from her village and took her to his lair against her will. The wild man spoke no language and appeared to have no part in civilization. Instead, choosing to live deep in the wild on its own, he forced himself on her many times for days on end, and soon she became pregnant with his son. She eventually escaped back to her village and nine months later gave birth. So the story goes that the voice claimed she was kidnapped by a Yiren, which is a Chinese version of Bigfoot. Her giant humanoid offspring never seemed to adjust well in human society. Our complex social mannerisms were too foreign for him to grasp. He could likewise not speak any Chinese, but he did grow to understand a few basic commands, other than a few instances of brief interactions with people. His gestures were purely animalistic in nature. He ate like a wild animal and squatted on his haunches instead of sitting like a man. He died at the age of 33 and was quickly oh. forgotten by the community. The footage was discovered much later, and the hybrid man's story soon grew into the internet 
that legend that we know it right, is today. Right, cool, the yo. researchers went to the village to learn more, however. There was little information to be found, though theories abound. His true origin remains a mystery to I wish I could have met him, yo. You look cool. Visitor. Anthony Choi is a UFO investigator who has been looking for UFO activity in Peru for the last 25 years. For decades, it had seemed like the aliens were always one step ahead of him. But one summer night, while hunting for humanoids near a gas station in Pachachamac, Peru, Anthony finally captured one of them on his cell phone. <laughs> The blue being vaguely has a human outline. Look closely and you can make out its arms and legs as it glides across the street. It looks like it is made out of pure energy. Whatever the technology is, it comes with one special life-saving trick, teleportation. The humanoid stops in the road just as a freight truck comes barreling its way at about 70 miles per hour. It looks like the strange blue visitor is about to get flattened, but then it suddenly disappears and materializes behind the vehicle like magic. It keeps crossing the street while Anthony watches with his crew in disbelief. The fact that it lost. stops in the middle of a busy road suggests that this thing is not familiar with our highway traffic rules. Even though it is probably not from this earth, it appears to be well experienced and capable of adapting to new dangers. It continues to cross three more lanes and teleports straight through another truck with ease. Anthony and his team of investigators say that the creature was about three feet tall with red eyes and a head that was shaped like a pumpkin. As the video shows, they were too overjoyed at the thought of discovering extraterrestrial life to be afraid. It is a video that Anthony will not fear, but instead cherish forever. Number wow. 10. Unknown Humanoid YouTuber Don John Averon claims to have captured an unknown humanoid on tape while deep in the woods in 2016. Whoa. But without more information or evidence, little can be verified in regards to this video's authenticity. But if it's real, then this chilling footage shows Don silently creeping up on an ape-like creature that has tiny Why don't legs they just and a go up and say hi? Body. The humanoid does not seem to notice him as it casually swings its massive arms while walking. It moves like a human, but apparently has giant sloth-like arms with no fingers. It retreats deeper into the forest and Don doesn't follow. Number man, nine, they're scary. The I would have said hi or something. This man. cemetery footage was taken over 10 years ago, and the owner was looking over it at random when he noticed a humanoid object in the background for the first time. No as the way. camera pans over the tombstone, you can see something rushing out from the background. As soon as the cameraman noticed this, he enhances the footage and slows it down to make sure his eyes weren't deceiving him. To his amazement, the adjustment only made things even oh. more clear. This is what he saw. This strange sighting has since caused a huge debate what online as to whether or not this humanoid was a gray alien or a ghoul. Many people point out that aliens aren't really what seen in the, the cemetery, hell? but ghouls on the other hand. Who knows what other kinds of humanoids have been accidentally caught on tape, waiting to be discovered. Number 8. The Thing this footage comes from Vietnam, where all sorts of strange creatures are rumored to still roam free through the wild and unconquered forests. This stuffed humanoid in particular has been deceased for quite some time, possibly for decades, and now looks discolored and slowly falling apart. It appears to be half man, half snake. Long blonde hair grows from its human-like head, which is furry all over yet also covered in straw blonde facial hair. Two rodent-like arms stick out from its fur-covered upper body. Its face looks like a cross between a man and an ape. The nose looks like it belongs to a primate, but the gray lifeless eyes and smirking mouth look like they could belong to a person. Its scaly lower half looks exactly like a snake's. Watching this thing in action must have been a terrible and shocking sight. How such a creature could come to be is unexplainable, yet here it is. Perhaps there are even more of them out in the wild. Number 7. The Goblin Humanoids apparently come in all different sizes. The one in this video is mistakenly I'm just finding out what a humanoid is today, guys. I didn't even know that it was ex existing. The supposed goblin in this video is shorter what the than hell? one tall. It peeks around from behind a wall and quickly disappears once it sees the camera. The camera follows it to the other side of the wall and finds a tiny hole that the humanoid must have escaped into. If it wasn't for the video, the supposed goblin would not have left a trace behind. 
Number oh, six, what the bugs. hell? This video could very well be proof that the humanoid kingdom extends into the insect world. At first glance, this video appears to be a firefly or some similar sort of bug, but when slowed down frame by frame, you can clearly see that this is not a bug at all, but rather appears to be a tiny winged humanoid. The video shows an insect-like humanoid with clearly discernible arms and legs. Unlike most bugs, this humanoid only has four limbs, and the arms appear to be twice as short as the hell? legs, much like a person. There's simply no insect on Earth like it. It's just too bad the lighting conditions don't provide more detail, because it would have been That's interesting weird. to see more of its face and overall color patterns. Exactly Look at where that. this video was shot is not known. A human that has wings, bro. Damn, imagine having wings as a human, bro. You just fly anywhere you want. Man, you just fly to just like Madagascar or something, monster. man. That's cool. This amateur footage was shot somewhere in an underground sewage system. The cameraman is presumably a maintenance worker who is wearing a chest cam. Little did he expect to find a humanoid down there with him. The video begins with the cameraman seemingly frozen in place. The camera is very still, as if the maintenance worker is too afraid to move. Maybe he heard a noise and is waiting for a creature to reveal itself. Suddenly, a pair of floating eyes peer at him from the distance. What the hell? Oh my gosh. You better run. Get out of there, bro. Get out of there, bro! Oh! He's running towards these no, brave. They belong to some sort of nocturnal predator. They reflect so much light that all you can see are two gigantic white dots that are roughly as wide around as flashlights. The humanoid does not appear to have much experience with humans and seems apprehensive as it appears around the corner. It decides to run away and the cheap camera cuts out before we can see any more. The cheap of the camera? Oh and shit! The Damn, chills. Away. Over here having exactly a 2K lingo over this bit. Guess. The video footage survived, so the cameraman probably did as well. Then again, maybe they recovered it from his dead body instead. There's just not enough information out there to say for sure. Number four, backyard creatures. Two friends are feeding their pet rabbits in the living room when they suddenly hear a mysterious noise coming from outside. Both of them are feeling pretty brave as they creep up the window and continue recording. As tough as they might be, neither of them are prepared for what they see next. There's something going crouching in there. Yeah, could you get the light? Back there. What the hell? Outside, some sort of orange four-legged humanoid is facing away from them. It's very low to the ground. Look directly under the clothesline if you can't see it. It's a strange Whoa. glowing color that doesn't seem to belong in this world. Play the tape again in slow motion and you can clearly see the humanoid sprint away as soon as one of them knocks on the window to get its attention. Why did he knock on the it's window instead of just go right out and just get to, get to get the, the action, yo? For its bulky body. The two of them rush out in the backyard for a fight, but they find that the creature is already gone. They check a nearby alley and quickly give up. Nobody was hurt. As for what the humanoid was doing, perhaps it smelled the scent of two rabbits and went in search of a fresh meal. Number what? Three, they, eat, they eat rabbits? This footage comes to us from Holland. A group of friends are exploring a park and decide to visit I've some heard of people doing it. That's actually, um, uh, the towers are close for vandalism. Low key Florida thing. Like people, uh, eat some, some rabbits and stuff. I never tried one before. More interesting but... than a cluster of abandoned towers could ever be. <laughs> Yo, I was laughing at how he said that shit. A large black figure is observing their movement from somewhere in the distance. What was that though? It looks like it is trying to hide behind a tree, which shows that it has some level of intelligence, but it does a poor job and gets spotted immediately. They began shouting for the humanoid to come out. Suddenly, a series of banging noises fills the forest and sends them running. When one of them enhances the camera footage, this is what they find glaring at them. Oh! <laughs> that man said, what the fuck was that? All right, bro, you're making it more scary with these sequences, please. <laughs> I'm loving the camera, man. It's hard to glare at someone when you have no face. Whatever this humanoid was doing, it looked like it was up to trouble. The group might have been easily attacked if they didn't try to scare it off. Number two, almost human. 
A Almost paleo human. anthropologist and his team discovered a cave boneyard in 2015 that has since made the scientific community question just what it means to be human. These findings, which were uncovered on the African island of Polau, tell of a tiny humanoid race that lived millions of years ago. A team of small women explorers were chosen to traverse the tiny caverns because they were the only ones who could fit through the narrow entrance way and navigate the winding cave paths. At the end of a twisted Crazy. rock journey, they found themselves standing at the mouth of a crypt with some of the earliest humanoid creatures ever recorded. As mineral-rich cave water hardened into stone, it preserved pieces of the humanoid's history. The team chipped away at the stone and found ancient teeth, bones, and pieces of cranium. When they pieced the creation together, the results were chilling. These tiny humanoid creatures had large teeth, narrow chins, and a brain that was roughly the size of a gorilla. They scurried Damn. about in caves and buried their dead. Humans were thought to be the only creatures to have buried their dead, but this crypt shows that at least one kind of humanoid species so humanoids been are real, real. 2.5 million years longer than we have been. Researchers I wish I could meet a humanoid. University of Florida say it is so unique it should be a separate species of human. The controversy of the Hobbit is ongoing. The extent of this animal's intelligence is impossible to determine, but if they were smart enough to bury their own dead, then they were more advanced than us by more than a million years. What happened since then is anyone's guess, but extinction isn't the only possibility. They could have burrowed deeper into the earth for all we know. After all, the world is a large place and we only exist on the surface. Before we get to number one, if you've ever been curious as to what I look like in real life, then follow me on Instagram at Dylan is chillin YT. Dylan is chillin! Instead of spaces. I also have a Twitter at YT underscore chills, where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. If you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, then hit that subscribe button because I upload a new scary video every Thursday. Number one, the abandoned shack. Whoever shot this footage claims to have been filming back in 2008. They were exploring and decided to start filming after what hearing strange noise. What the fuck was that, bro? It's a very short clip since it wasn't long what before was they that? were running out of the house screaming. Reviewing the footage again, you can clearly see that this is not an ordinary forest creature. Its front legs bend inwards as it runs, kind of like a human running on all fours. It doesn't appear to have much of a face, yet it can somehow make a terrifying scream. The humanoid appears to be ready for the cameraman as soon as he opens the door. It approaches aggressively, but also with a hint of caution, for it rushes at the cameraman at only half speed. It also doesn't seem to pursue him when he starts running, which means it's probably just claiming its territory and wants to be left alone. The YouTuber who uploaded this video said, says that this is not their only encounter with the creature. Another time, they were exploring the abandoned house with a friend and a knife. They peer into the house from the front yard and listen for any signs of the creature inside. They don't hear anything, so they decide to go further in to investigate. That's when they hear its disturbing warning cries. What the hell is that noise? It sounds like Damn. it's between a squealing pig and some sort of enraged dinosaur. The two quickly turn off he their flashlights. He said squealing pig and an enraged dark. dinosaur. They get up and start sneaking away, but just when they think they are safe. Heck is that? Oh! Just get out of the house. Just get back to the house. Just get back to the house. Oh, what's going on? They run back full speed to their nearby home. When they review the footage, they vow to go back to the property the next day with guns, but they never got the courage to follow through. Uh, since the monster never them in either video, perhaps it was just Bro, as certain of them as that? they were a bit. Thanks for checking out this video. Bro. Be sure to subscribe because hey, I man. a new... Even though that was a trying to get started, I was looking some educational-ish that was learned. Hey, man, as usual, comment down below as you're at your next meal on the road. That too many, many.